Hello and welcome to this video. I'm sure you've already used your X6200 with the built-in speaker or a audio jack headset. That's great. And if you also want to know how to make your radio work with USB or Bluetooth audio devices, you've come to the right place. Before we begin, just a quick disclaimer. The procedure is not very complicated, but one wrong move could brick the radio. So proceed with caution and at your own risk. Now let's connect via serial link to the debug port of the radio. Let's start by looking at the available audio interfaces. There is card zero, which is the hardware device, and there is a mix playback overlay. To understand exactly how it works, you can look at the fileassound.com. Let's plug in my USB headphones to see what happens. I can see activity in the terminal, so let's see if the headphones can be selected in the dedicated menu of the interface. No, my Apple USB earphones are not listed. I can only select the internal speaker and analog headphones. We'll have to find another way, a workaround. At least there has been some activity. Let's check the list of available devices again. Bingo! We have a brand new ALSA device. Let's build a bridge or pipe between Card Zero and this new device using GStreamer, which luckily is already installed on the target. Yes, now I can hear audio in my headphones, which is fantastic. Let's stop GStreamer and let me run a little bash script I made to start or stop the pipe in one line. It also initializes the volume at the same time. Please note that the volume of the headphones can be controlled via a mixer. At this point, I have not yet figured out how to control it with the usual knob. Thanks to a UDEV rules file, the previous script automatically starts the pipe each time an Apple device is connected and stops it each time the device is disconnected. There are a few safeguards to prevent the pipe from being started multiple times without the previous ones being stopped. Now let's move on to connecting my Bluetooth headset, which is a Shox Open Swin Pro that I particularly like for jogging. Why not use it for my ham radio activities too? That would mean fewer cables. In the system menu, then the Bluetooth menu, I can see that my headphones have already been paired previously. I just need to click on connect. I refresh to see if my Bluetooth device is detected. Okay, we have it. So we can follow the same procedure as before with GStreamer, slightly adapting the command. And it works great. It's awesome. I'm now going to kill the command with Control C and launch my bash script, which automatically detects when the Bluetooth device is plugged in or unplugged to automatically start and stop the pipe. This is a little different from the UDIV mechanism because here it uses the Pulsadio server's event detection. Finally, please note that this feature consumes approximately 5% of CPU power. This does not compromise the integrity or stability of the radio, but it does undeniably consume a little more battery power. Thank you for your attention. All of the scripts shown are on my GitHub repository. Link in the description. See you next time for more.